Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert multiple PDF file into Excel and combine it together in one Excel sheet. So without delay, let's start. Here I have two folders, first page of PDF. In this we have eight files and second page of PDF. In this we have seven files. So let's understand first all the files. So in the first file, I have one page only. In file two, we have two pages. If we say file three, in this also we have two page. File four, also we have two page. So let me tell you in this folder in file one we have only one page and the rest of file contains two pages. Okay. Same we have in this file all the file having two pages. Okay. Now I'm closing this. I'll open a blank excel file. So let me tell you first what I'm going to do. I'll be converting all the pdf file into excel and I will combine at the same time. So let's do this. First we will go into data ribbon and here we have a section get and transform data. So here I will click get data from file and I will be selecting from folder. It will take some time Okay, so now we have browse dialog box. Here I will go in this Excel course PDF to Excel. Here we have two folders. So why I have created two folders? Because whenever you are combining multiple PDF file and having multiple pages in each PDF file, in that case, you cannot combine all the pages in one go. So that is the reason in the first folder, I will be combining first page of PDF file. And in the second folder, we are going to combine second page of PDF file. Okay, so first I will select first page of PDF click open so it will take some time to load the data so now it is connecting okay so total we have eight files we have multiple options like combine load transform data you can either click on transform data or like you can click here combine and transform I'll be selecting this option so it is loading the query Okay, so here you need to take care of few things. First, you can see in file one, I have one page. Okay, in file two, we have two page. In file six, we have two pages. So here file one is having one page and rest of the PDF file having two pages. Okay, so if we select file one and we select page one and if we load the data. So let's see what happens. So it will be loading. So here data has been loaded. Okay, you can see file one, all the data we have, but you can see file two, we have data, but it is none. We don't have any data in there. This is the problem that happens if we combine multiple files in one go. Okay, so I have a trick for that. In this video, we are going to use that trick. So I'm closing this. Now we will again go into data tab and get data from file and then from folder. I will select first folder, open. I'll click combine and transform data. Now. Here the trick is you have to select the file who is having maximum pages. So here we have one page and two page max. So I select any one of the data having two pages. Suppose I'm selecting file three and then select page one and click OK. So here you can see it has loaded all the data from first page of each PDF file. Okay, you can see we have total eight files. Now we will be doing here some transformation. So if we need to automate this, so that is going to help you to filter the data, to sort the data. So here you can see we have a column source name. We don't need file one dot PDF in our data. So here we can see that we have header here, but this is considered as a row, right? And we have columns like source name, column one, column two, column 3. So to promote this as a header in home tab we have option use first row as a header. So just click here. So first row is promoted as a header. Now we have file 1 column. So we don't need file 1 column. Okay. So what we will do I will be extracting the numeric data from this. So what I need to do select this column go into add column tab click extract and we will be extracting data from text between delimiters. Click here. Now we will write start delimiter that is file and in delimiter dot pdf now click ok so it will add a column which consists the numeric part okay so first we will change the column name so i am writing here file number and we'll change the data type we'll go into home tab data type column now we will bring this column at the beginning so you can simply click on the column and you can drag okay now we don't need this column file one will remove this code. So you can see all the data we have here, all the files, file 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Now I think there is no requirement of any other transformation as of now. So I'll be loading this data. Click here, load. 
So here the complete data has been loaded. You can see all the data we have loaded. Now we will do the same process for loading the second page. We'll click on seat one, click here, go into data tab, get data from folder. Now I will be selecting second page of video. Click open. So here we have file two to file eight. Same, we'll click combine and transform data. Now here you can see whatever the file we will select every file is having two pages okay so you can make it as a default first file or you can select any of the file and you can select page two so here the trick is you don't have to select page one because already we have loaded page one now page two we have to load so select page two and click ok so it will take some time okay so now data has been loaded to the power query editor so here also we will do the same process okay here you can see we don't have any header okay so don't worry about that we no need to add any header here first we will extract numeric part from file name okay so select the column go into add column extract text between delimiters start delimiter will be file end delimiter would be dot pdf click ok so one column has been added here we'll rename it as a file number and we'll change the data type go to home data type full number now we will drag this column to first and we will remove source name column okay so it has been created now we will click close and load so it is loading the data okay so you can see here we have loaded file 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now the main part will come here we are going to combine both the files in a single excel sheet okay i'll be using seat 1 i'll rename it as a master data now i will copy the header and i'll paste in master data okay here i'll be using a formula to combine both the file if we have multiple pages so here we will be having multiple excel sheets so accordingly we can combine all the sheets okay currently we have two sheets so we'll be combining both now as this is a table so there would be a table name for that so you can go into table design you can see here the first table name is underscore first page of video and second table name is underscore second page of video okay so i'll be using here formula and this formula is available in office 365 so the formula is v stack so here i'll write the formula is equal to v stack here it is asking for array one so array one i'll be passing the table one the name is underscore you can see here the table name is highlighted and select this by pressing tab comma array two is my second table name underscore we'll select this let's tab close the bracket hit the enter so now you can see the complete data has been combined you can format these two columns because these are dates here by default it is general so we'll change it to sort date so now it is converted into date but here you can see the file number is started from one and as we go down so after eight it has started from two because this is the second page of video so we have to sort the data okay in this formula I'll be using sort formula sort and by default this will sort ascending close the bracket hit enter now you can see it has started from 1 and the end is 8 so I hope you understand how we can convert multiple pages of PDF into Excel sheet and then how we can combine the data in one sheet okay now here come to the automation part suppose we had all this file we have eight files here and we have seven files here now two files we got from our sales team file 9 and file 10 so in file 9 if we open this file we have two pages and if we check file 10 we have only one page in file 10 okay so what would be the process to combine all this here what we have to do the file is containing two pages we have to copy in both the folder so i will copy file 9 and i will paste in folder 1 also in folder but file 10 is having only one page so i will copy this in folder one only. okay now how this is going to automatically update in our excel sheet so i'll go into my excel sheet you can go either into first page or second page anywhere in the file okay go into data tab and click refresh all now you can see here in the right bottom corner it is refreshing the file and loading the pages so it may take some time depending upon the data size now it has been loaded we can see here in folder one we have 10 file 1 to 10 okay let's see here you can see we have 1 to 10 file okay now in folder 2 we have 2 to 9 file like total we have 8 files but file is started from file 2 let's see in the second page we have 2 to 
9 पर क्लिक ओके नाउ इन द मास्टर डेटा इज इट ऑटोमेटिकली अपडेटेड देयर यस यू कैन सी हियर आई विल पुट अ फिल्टर यू कैन सी वी हैव ऑल द पेजेस फ्रॉम 1 टू 10 ओके इफ यू वांट टू चेक इन डेटा सो जस्ट क्लिक हियर इन द फर्स्ट सेल प्रेस कंट्रोल and down arrow so you can see file 10 data has been updated here so this is the complete process that how you can convert multiple pdf files into excel sheet page wise because automatically this is not going to convert all the pages at one go that is the reason we have to convert page by page okay and then we can combine all the data in one excel sheet so this is the complete automation process so if this video is informative for you so you can like the video share with your friends and colleagues you can subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you will get all the notifications of my upcoming videos and i will show you my youtube channel i have uploaded multiple videos here so you can go to my channel and you can watch all these videos all videos having ample amount of information so that you can increase your knowledge you can use that in your work and you can grow in your career thank you for watching